All right, DI 62-2. So let's get right into it. Number one. So it says use Cauchy's bound to find the interval containing all of the real zeros. Cauchy's bound. That's the. So we have to take our constant, put it over our leading coefficient. Basically, every single one of these, put it over the coefficient. And whichever one's the largest, that's going to be your m. So all your zeros are going to be in between negative 6 plus 1 and 6 plus 1. So all the zeros are going to be between negative 7 and positive 7. Then the next piece to it says use Cauchy's bound, or sorry, use Descartes' rule of signs to list the number of possible positive and negative zeros. So we look at two situations f of positive x, those are for the positive zeros. And then f of negative x, those are for the negative zeros. So this is going to be negative x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x plus 6 when we simplify it. So now you count the number of times the sign changes. So 1, 2. So 2, and then you have to count down by an even integer, which is you just count down by 2 until you can't count down anymore. So 2 or 0, positive zeros. This is all possible. And then here, counting, no change, so 1, negative 0. Number 4, it says find the real zeros of the polynomial using the techniques learned. So those are our p's over q's. So on number 4, 5f of x equals x to the fourth plus 2x squared minus 15. My possible p's are with this number, so plus or minus 1, 3, 5, and 15 all over that number, which is 1. So now listing them out, 1, 0, x cubed, 2x squared, 0x, and minus 15. Let's try positive 1. I don't think it's going to work though. Bring it down, multiply, add, multiply add, multiply, add, nope. Let's try, let's try three. Bring it down, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, nope. Let's try negative three. one? I don't think negative one's going to work. Nope. So we tried all the ones. We tried all of the threes. Let's try the fives. Negative 5, same thing. Yeah. 15. Will 15 work? Bring it down, multiply. That would give me 15. Add 15, multiply. Nope, that's going to get out of control. So none of the zeros work. 
so therefore it's not factorable. Which means we wouldn't be able to solve it that way. Um, there is another way to solve it, but we're going to talk about that a little bit later on in this lesson. All right, number eight. So y equals sine of negative two x plus pi minus two. So I have to take the negative two x plus pi and put that between zero and two pi, minus pi, divide everything by negative two. So I get negative pi halves is greater than or equal to x which is greater than or equal to, if I minus pi, it's pi, so that's going to be, actually it's positive, and that's negative pi halves. Then I can flip it. Do the value box. Add the ends, divide by 2, add the ends, divide by 2, add the ends, divide by 2. and then you can start going through and graphing it. So there's the negative pi halves, negative pi fourths, zero, pi fourths, pi halves, vertical shift. So there's my new center line. So graphing it with sine starts, goes up to the amplitude, crosses, goes back down, crosses. So that's what it's going to look like. It says determine the following functions if they are even or odd. So if it was even, that means f of x equals f of negative x, odd, negative f of x equals f of negative x. Woo. So even does 3x minus 4 equal 3 times negative x squared minus 4. So 3x squared minus 4 equals 3x squared minus 4. Boom. So we know it's even. So it says solve the inequality, write your answer in interval notation. So when we're doing these, absolute value of 2x plus 1 minus 5 is less than 0. So add 5 to both sides. So this is an AND statement. So AND statement is looking where they intersect or overlap with each other. So we just go through and solve it. And then 2x negative 2x plus 1 is less than 5. So this one And then this one here, distributing the negative. So now putting that in a number line, we have negative 3, we have 2, they're open circle. x is less than 2, x is greater than negative 3. This is where they overlap, so your answer is going to be from negative 3 to positive 2.